Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. We are just about ready to roll. And it's about 20 minutes before 2 a.m. in the morning. And I got woken up there a little bit before 2 already. A guy honking his horn and whatever. And I thought he was honking it at somebody else or whatever. And so he did it again when I got up. And I saw I went and grabbed my flashlight and went out there to investigate what is going on. I don't know. Is there something wrong with the guy? Does he need help? Or what's his problem, you know? And as I showed you yesterday, I explained it even in yesterday's video. It'd be hard to get out of here when you're... Uh, four trucks side by side right well <laughs> he's behind me and he's honking his damn horn they're wanting me to move like can't you come to my door and knock on the person's door that you want uh, to move you know like so because he's been honking his horn there for the last uh, while there I give him shit I said are you that stupid you gotta sit there and honk your horn I said at least go to the person's door and knock on their door and ask them to move if you're stuck in there but I said you know, like sitting in your truck and honking your damn horn, you're waking up the whole neighborhood. I said, there's no call for it. I said, why are you waking everybody else up that's around you just so you can get out, you know? Like, get out and walk to the person that you need to move or whatever, and then uh, he or she will move or whatever, you know? But, hey, this is an issue up here, so you can expect that, you know? So I told him, I said, I'm just going to finish my logbook and all that, and then we'll be out of here, so... Give me a minute, but yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, that made me kind of mad, but, you know, not, not because, you know, I mean, I woke up a little bit before my alarm clock already because of this guy honking his horn, but he's waking everybody else up, and I mean, it, mean you know, in the, in the process, so, guys, if you are truck drivers, don't do that. Walk up to the guy and knock on the door if you need him to move. But don't be honking your horn, they're sitting there and bleep, bleep, every few minutes, you know? Like, what the heck, man? But anyways, that's my rant for today. Truck drivers, please don't do that. At least walk up to the guy and or person or whatever and uh, ask them kindly if they wouldn't mind moving, you know? I mean, in this case, it isn't really a truck stop, so you could have parked further behind me, so that way you could have gotten out or something, you know? But no, he's like within eight feet of my, my trailer door, so... How are you gonna get out of there? Anyways, like, didn't you think that yesterday already? He said, oh, your lights were on, you know. I thought you were gonna be moving out of here. Well, don't you think there could be another truck backing in in front of you then? Like, really? <laughs> but anyways, enough of that. Let's get out of here. Good morning. can probably tell it is raining or at least drizzling at the minimum I guess you could say but yeah we are getting closer to dry in Ontario so we got us a couple of more hours to go and we'll be home I guess about a little over three and a half hours more to go and we'll be home sweet home yes indeed the Sun is not really peeking through today because it's raining but at least we finally have enough daylight to where we can start recording a little bit anyways and I decided yeah why not you know turn the camera back on and get a few more footage for you today yes indeed 17 or oh, 7 uh, highway 17 I was just talking about the uh, Tim Hortons up there in Dryden yeah, so I think it's yeah, 15 kilometers ahead. That's where Dryden is. So we'll be going through Dryden here pretty soon. And I just figured I would mention this one more time. And uh, that is the truck is still working very good. Yes, indeed it is. It has worked really good all week long. I'm still a little disappointed of the power, but other than that, I'm happy with the way it's running and performing and all that good stuff. I'm getting decent fuel mileage. 
I, I can't complain. So we will be home probably about eh, a little bit after one. I'm thinking one fifteen, one thirty ish. I'll be home. I'll be in the yard. Drop my paperwork and my load off, and then we'll go home. Home sweet home. But I'm just going to be doing another reset and go again. I got to make money to pay all of this debt off, so we can't afford to stay home very long. But that's all right. Get our birthday party going tomorrow and have a little fun over there. But yeah, other than that, we're just enjoying our cruising. Already have at least six and a half, maybe six three quarter hours in the book already today. Since we left early, we stopped up there in Nipigon, made a pit stop over there, had us a Tim Hortons cup of coffee, and uh, had us a little chicken salad sandwich up there. So we had a little bit of a bite to eat there. And now here we are, just cruising right on down the road. Yeah, we will have good miles though when we get home. I calculated it out earlier and it looks like I'll have about 4,030 miles in this week. So that is awesome miles. About 6,483 kilometers in the books this week. Oh, that is fantastic. Well, sometimes I wish I could do that every week, but not every week. You don't want that every week, you know, sometimes 3,000 is good. Sometimes 3,500 is fantastic. But almost never do I get 4,000 miles in a week like I did this week. But hey, I knew it right from the beginning when I got that load. It's, it's a lot of miles. Even if I were just to go straight from Steinbach up to Clinton, it's 1,875 miles one way. So you gotta consider any uh, little zigzagging that you do to go pick up a load or you know to go to Toronto and then go home or something like that it adds extra miles you know and that's exactly what we did now I had to go down to Hazleton pick up the load there and go to Toronto and then from there we picked up this load so so yeah we're excited we're gonna have some decent paychecks I think coming up here especially having good miles I'll have just a little tiny bit over 12,000 miles for this month by the time I roll into Steinbuck today. And the month is not even over yet. Yeah. I'll be leaving on Sunday if they'll give me a load. So it's only the 30th actually. So I have two more days to drive in some miles before the month is over. So, and I have till the 3rd actually to call in my miles. So, but I called in on the 3rd at the beginning of this month too to call in some miles. So, so technically those miles went for last month not for this month but hey at least according to the satellite I got you know that I actually drove this mile this month is already 12,000 miles by the time I get home so that's pretty darn good I would say and if I can get get me a decent load going out on on Sunday I can do two more full days of driving if I actually do 600 miles each day I could actually end up with over 13,000 miles for this month. Now that's an awesome month. Oh yeah. Then you're making money when you do good miles like that, I tell you. But that's what we need, right? That's what we've been hoping for for the last little while. And now we're getting it, so I'm excited. We'll be able to pay off this debt if we can continue doing that, right? Anyways, enough of my chatting and yabbering and all of that good stuff, so we'll continue on and we'll see what else we will be able to show you. Alright guys, it looks like that our Manitoba scale is open. Continue we have just well. entered into Manitoba. So, I guess we'll go see what they got to say. We'll open up our window again and let's see if they'll scream at us today for having our... Uh, spotlights in the front I took them covers off again guys yes indeed I did it says stop before entering the scale so we'll go ahead and do that there we go made our stop so let's go ahead and see what they got to say today So far 
far so good. Yeah, looks like they're busy in there today. You got the oversized pulled in over here. He's giving me the single there next axle. All that good stuff, so. He's not really giving me any lights, so I don't know. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Now he gave me the departing light, light there, so that's good. I guess he's quite busy in there, so he can't be pressing all of them buttons at the same time and doing other things, I guess. So here we go. We're out of here. I'm going to make sure we get out of here before they change their mind, right? So they never said anything about my lights in the front, so we're good to go, right? Now we're officially back in Manitoba. We only got about another hour and a half and we'll be home sweet home. Yeah, I'm happy and excited for that. We gotta go through a couple of two valleys up here and then we'll be, uh, we'll be in the clear. We'll have uh, smoother roads, I guess you could say. It won't be all hilly and all that stuff anymore after this, so. so we'll be good to go. I'm happy though, I made good time. I already got about, I would say eight and three quarters, maybe even nine hours in the logbook already today, so we are good to go. We can make it home. And the good thing is this time we don't need to bring our truck to the shop. Isn't that something? That makes me even happier than anything else. Don't need to worry about anything, right? That is always a good feeling. We've been waiting for that for a long time, so... Now it's here. We don't have to worry about it. I don't even need a grease trouble or anything, because I had that done last time. When I was down there. Not this last time, one time before, I meant to say. So, which was only two weeks ago, so... I should be okay. Probably wait till next payday, which is the 15th, and then I'll get an oil change done and all that stuff. And then we'll get the grease drop done then again, right? So, but now the goal is getting home, sweet home. And I had me a good trip. I will have good miles, so, and I am getting tired. It's been a long run hard for the last week so mind you the first couple of days i didn't really run super hard but the whole trip ends up being a lot of miles so but we actually did really good and we're doing good on fuel too so all righty guys we are here at the panner yard in steinbach manitoba and i am very pleased to announce that we got us a very nice paycheck ha 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 that hard work paid off ladies and gentlemen i am extremely happy extremely happy oh yeah i'm telling you i am not complaining one little bit about my paycheck today things have turned around have you guys noticed my truck has been working good and now we got a good payday and all of that I just ch checked my pay stub a little bit and I noticed the uh, windshield washer fluid came off that I purchased a while back ago there from Penners and so uh, it was pretty cheap for uh, four gallons of windshield washer fluid it's only like ten dollars and thirty five cents and you buy two jugs of one shell washer fluid at a truck stop it's like eight bucks or ten bucks just for two and i got four for the same price so i said hey, i gotta grab me another one i'm out of anyways so i grabbed me a box of six uh jugs of a gallon a jug of windshield washer fluid so should be good now for a little bit anyways i use a lot of windshield washer fluid to keep the windshield clean for you guys so you guys can see something out of the windshield, right? 
But anyways, let's go home and we'll talk with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, we're here over in uh, Winnipeg at my friend's place. And what is he doing over here? Not sure, what are you doing over here? Oh, I don't know, some meat. Some meat? Oh. Something some on the grill? Ah, beef ribs. Beef ribs, eh? My goodness, are we going to have us a good supper or what? Huh? Very good. Very good. Testing out your brand new barbecue. You want to be good cooking tonight? Very good. Yeah? Really? Well, we'll check in later and we'll see. Well, guys, it looks like dinner is served. Yeah, look at that. We have uh, some nice beef ribs up here. Oh, yeah. Are you guys hungry yet? I am, so let's get to eating. Behind me, that day is gonna come